Dr. Eisfeld, the landscape of AML has changed significantly in recent years. How have advances in testing improved patient care? It is a different world, Catherine, honestly. I mean, I started um, um, practicing in, in, in hematology and taking care of AML patients back in Germany, actually, um, in, in the year 2007. Back then, there was no other testing that was available. All we, we were guiding and all what we had available was, was, was um, morphology and, and, and cytogenetics. And very often that was very inaccurate. And we also only had two, tre uh, two treatment kinds available. Yeah. One was intensive chemotherapy and one was something that was just a little bit better than best supportive care. So many patients could not receive treatment. And the increase in knowledge that we have on a molecular basis in AML really did two things at once. And once we understood, we had a more fine-tuned understanding on which patients would respond. And the second thing is that this knowledge about the molecular landscape enabled us to have new treatments available that are sometimes in pill form that, that can target specific mutations in patients who carry these genetic changes. Mm -hmm. Should all AML patients undergo in-depth testing like biomarker testing or cytogenetics? Yes, every patient should do that. It can make the difference between life and death and it can make the difference between receiving, uh, uh, having a hospital stay of, 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 of four weeks um, with intensive chemotherapy versus taking a pill at home. Um, this is very rare that this is possible, but it is possible. And of course, you, you know, one would not want to um, miss this chance if, if, if it would be possible. Dr. Eisfeld, I'd like to get your thoughts on where we stand with progress in the field of AML. What would you like to leave the audience with? Are you hopeful? I am incredibly hopeful. I hope when, when I started um, working in hematology, as I said, in that time, it was just about when Gleevec came out, which is the CML pill that really re revolutionized care. And so at that time, I, we, all patients on the bone marrow transplant service had chronic myeloid leukemia because they all had to undergo bone marrow transplant. Then um, Gleevec came, and today um, there are no such patients more seen or very rarely um, that require such intensive care. So I am very hopeful that um, in, in, the, in, in my practice time, which hopefully, and even earlier on, that there will be a time where where we find targeted therapies for, for almost all um, patients in here.